Hello guys, today I will show you how you can uh, successfully import the videos in your Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5 uh, Now, before we start importing files it's very important that you check the file settings before, import, uh, before you import it So, uh, I, will, I, will, I will just... Uh, uh, so, you first open a project that you had already made or made a new project doesn't matter. I show you my way how how I do do it. Just open a project. And it offers me skip, so I will just click offline all files, and uh, I will show you later on. Note that uh, Adobe Premiere Pro uses a lot of CPU and uh, hard disk uh, resources, so you must have a quite quick computer. Otherwise, the there will be lots of delays, you will have to wait a long time before everything shows up. I'm using this on a lat laptop with i3 processor. So, alright, so first you uh, get properties from a file right here. Click down the file and then below get properties from file and just select file. And uh, select the files that you want to import. So, I'm using uh, a remote hard disk. And I will just find the things I need. All right. Uh, all right. So, for example, I want to click this video, and I want to import it in my in my settings. So, uh, first you go here, and then you check the settings for video. So its image size is is like this. Write it down or remember it. The sound here, 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 and three megabytes per second. Aspect Radio 1.0. Okay, so now you make a new project. Uh, no, you don't want to save this project because we didn't use it. Uh, remember, if you if you have a remote hard disk, you better scratch disks on other on a other hard drive. If you have two hard drives or three, use it on other other hard drive because then the computer will be much quicker from. Other Premiere from one hard disk and uh, cut uh, scratch disks will be installed on another hard disk. You will get twice as faster the file transfers between them. So the other Premiere will work very quickly. And uh, I will name this project new project as a uh, Omega Car Washing. Okay. All right. So. We need custom settings. Uh, click custom. It was 25 frames per second. Uh, it was 920. Uh, it shows different pixel ratio because we have HD anamatic whatever square pixels. All right, we have nine. Oh, we have find this one and video preview. Remember, you don't need. Super HD video previews. You you need I like I like I don't know 480. Okay, it's okay. And sound was 48 hertz, 48,000. Okay, so name the sequence. Omega car wash washing. All right, we're in. So uh, now that we have our settings set up. Uh, we we can import this file that we selected. It's this file. Uh, note: uh, full HD videos take a long time, and here you have to wait. Bec uh, it scratches the disk, so it creates samples, so you can preview and the sound preview and uh, less quality, so you can view it very quickly and edit very quickly here. Uh, this is work area. Uh, you can you can select that you maybe want to import, export, or import work area. So. If you have like hours of videos, you and you want to see how only the one frame looks like, you just you just select, select the one frame and click file export, and then later on you select uh, work area. You don't select all the sequence. And now we have our video. Uh, note, I'm uh, before I used Adobe Premiere Pro two, and uh, it had uh, great features. You, you can. Sorry, I will I will turn the sound sound down a little bit for this video. It had great features. You can you you, you could uh, select a sample and then post it in, but sometimes in this program you get uh, errors. Like I don't know, you you take the sample, you post it in, and the audio doesn't come up. 
uh, and what I did is you just take the video you select the file from here and you just drag in the video and it will create a new audio selection and for uh, this tutorial on how to import videos that's it later on I will make a new video new I will I will show you how to edit this video so thanks for watching and see you bye